real quick. If you guys didn't hear the announcement at the start of the stream, I'm especially excited about it. Off the backs of your requests, your acquiescences, something big has happened. Check it out. We got a fucking YouTube's man. That's crazy, crazy. That's like this whole stream thing's real now. I can't tell my grandpa. Um, yeah. So basically, do you know Twitch? No. Um, do you know YouTube? No. But now I can be like, and he'll be like, life sized. It's time for the red dairy cow. Red dairy cow. So go and join our slash line. We go get him, Tiger. Rar. It seems some people went through and found pictures from prom night. And it's everybody from my high school doing the doing the prom pose, which seems really boring and lame and not that fun. And they're all coupled up. Not that many people. Only like twelve people. And then and then there's and then there's me. And I look good. I look good. And I think that's important to note here. I do look good. Not it, it my date was running late. She was running she was running late, but she was she was hot. Uh who did I go to prom with? Mia. You're my man's. Mia Malkova. Wasn't a big deal. Wasn't a big deal. But she was busy. She was busy at the moment, so couldn't be in the picture, but she was there. Where the fuck did you find this? Please do not. Dig up pictures from my past from seven years ago and then show them to me. That's seven years old. Leave seven-year-old Ludwig or 17-year-old Ludwig seven years ago. Leave him in the past. He's fine. He's doing great. He's looking great. All right. He's not even the shortest one there. He's taller than he's taller than that guy, than that guy. And, and these guys are on, a, are on a hill, so fuck him. He's looking great. And he's taller than most of the women, which is cool too. <laughs> Someone photoshopped cutie in there. There's one thing I would change about that picture. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Nothing like cutie Cinderella as my prom date. Ow! <laughs> Fixed, boys! Fixed! You guys want to hear about prom? You want to know why this picture exists? I'll spill the tea. I'll spill the tea right now. I remember it like it was yesterday, senior year. And for some reason, and I think this happens to most men, I started to feel a weird pressure that I not only needed to ask someone, but ask someone in a big way that would be cool and make a show and wouldn't be lame or whack. I don't know why this came about. It really doesn't matter. Honestly, the way you should do it is... Just kind of ask someone that you're cool with and want to hang out with and be honest about hanging out with them. But in my mind, I was like, no, no, it has to be a display of love. I wanted to go down like Heath Ledger in 10 Things I Hate About You. Mm. I was like, yes, this, I will do this. I'll wow the girl, sweep them off their feet. And so I hatched a plan. A plan to do exactly that. A plan to ask a girl in this photo. In fact, this girl right here. We'll call her... What's the name I always use for girls? I forget. I used to always use one name for girls. I forget who it was. Tina? Oh, it was Tina. Yeah. <laughs> I had a plan to ask Tina, who I was great, great friends with at the time. And had a bit of a crush on, admittedly. And the way my high school worked, because I lived in a quite wealthy white community, everybody had a car and everybody had a parking space at my high school. And I knew her parking space. And I was like, here's the plan. I'm going to get to school early. I'm going to set up this beautiful thing in the snow. Because there was snow with color. <laughs> All in the snow. Asking Tina to prom. It's going to be great. It's going to be a show. Everybody's going to be driving to school. They'll see it. It'll be the talk of the town. 
And then I tell a few friends about the idea because I needed help. And as things do in high school in every facet of life, word gets around. And the night before, the night before I would unhatch my plan, I get a call from the guy right behind Tina. And he goes, hey. And I respond, hey, what's up? And he goes, heard you were going to ask Tina to prom. And I'm like, yeah, planning on doing it tomorrow. And he goes, that's weird. Because I just asked her. And I was like, what? What did you do? He's like, yeah, I asked her already tonight. And I was like, oh, that's cool. What did she say? And then Nick responded. She said she'd have to think about it because she heard you were going to ask. And I was like, yeah, cool. That's cool. It's very pog. All right, got to go. Got to go. My mom, my mom's, my mom's calling. And I hung up. And the first thing I did was call Tina. Nick just called. Is it true? Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But he asked me. And I was like, huh. And like most things in high school, we never came to a resolution, but we still ended the conversation because life moves on and dinner time comes. And so the call ended and the next day happened and I didn't want to ask her because she'd already been asked and she knew I was going to ask. And that went on for a while until eventually she came to a decision without really confirming with me because again, it's high school and people don't really know how to communicate well. And eventually I found out Tina was going to prom with Nick and I was devastated, heartbroken. How could this happen to me? I remember the same week, the same week, this is embarrassing, that she had already confirmed going to the prom with Nick. I was accompanying her to her photo class. And this is old school photography where you have to put pictures in a dark room. So we're hanging out. She's like, I got to go put some things in the dark room. And I was like, oh, I'll join. And we're in the dark room. And as I do with a lot of situations in life, I'm envisioning what's going to happen in this dark room. A kiss, a confession, a coming together. And so I start off the conversation casually. So, um, problem with Nick. She's like, yeah, he asked first. And I'm like, hmm, would have been nice, me and you. And she's like, yeah, would have been okay. I continue. Imagine us. Dancing. Prom night. She's like, yeah, I, we could have danced, I guess. And then the balls come to me and I go, hey, Tina, I like you. And she looks at me, not that I can see, but I can feel her eyes pouring over my face and my body in this dark room. Her shadow suddenly more still than ever. And she goes, and I quote, oh, and that ended the conversation. And not only did I not have a prom date, but I had a broken heart and an inability and no desire to ask anyone else. How could I? What am I going to ask? Knock off Tina to the prom when my heart's really set on the original Tina. So I'm alone, dusted, until a friend enters the fray. One of my best friends, known as Evan. Another man who also had no one to go with. And when two bros got no hoes, they go together arm in arm. Which is why there's a picture that exists on my subreddit. Ah, there's a picture of us rolling up prom night on Razor scooters like a couple of kings. And not that this vindication matters, but it turned out that this didn't really work out too well. Turns out that Nick kind of sucked and made out with a different girl on prom night other than Tina. And Tina came running to Peepaw. Woo! We're in there. 
Now it didn't really end up working out because I was interested in someone else and then she was interested in someone else and then timing and then she also really loved Jesus and I didn't really like Jesus that much as much as she liked Jesus. She liked Jesus like a lot, like more than I like most things in this world. So that was a, like a weird disconnect, but we were still really great friends and in general, I think you should avoid treating women as objects that are either simping if you talk to them or something you should totally ignore and then you can really develop important friendships that really re it will shape you as a better human. But I had a great time prom night didn't really end up going home with anyone, still save the friendship, and it was two bros rolling up like a couple kings, a couple chads the day of. That was my prom night. Uh, interesting to see that you guys dug this up. Next post, as per request of the great Ludwig Ogren. <laughs> what? with a chance of rain, this can only be the work of... Morning, Turner. Tinkleberg. A man who signs and delivers. Thank you, Butterbaka24. What do you guys keep linking me? What is this? Wait, who the hell is that? I have no idea. It was on my desktop. Oh my I accidentally God. clicked it. Wait, why are you showing that picture of me, Rod? What the fuck? <laughs> there he is right here. That was man candy. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you doing this, Raj? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, he's cute too. <laughs> All right. You. Um, <laughs> if you say something, I guess you lose. Whatever. That's chill. That's cool. You want to go to prom? That's fine. Ludwig, can you name my gecko? It's a girl. Oh, we get to name your gecko? <sighs> Say hello to your new gecko, Tina. Tina the gecko. Name it badass so when you introduce her to somebody, you can say that's badass. <laughs> That's insane. That's, that's, that's pimp chipping. <laughs> Fish pog. When that wasn't very fish poggers of you. That wasn't very fish poggers of you. Man, the subreddit really does get crazy around 100 upvotes, huh? Ludwig looking at Ludwig looking at Ludwig looking at a bean. Get me out of this hellhole. Get me out of this hellhole, man. Get, I can't, I can't, I can't be here. I can't be at 100 upvotes. What the fuck is this? Ludwig is officially on a watch list? Damn, that bitch a fossil. <laughs> that bitch on her way out.